All right, true believers, welcome. Good morning. This is John Krupa, and I'm the host of the Freedom to Draw Unsolved Mysteries. Today, we got Charles Manson is back in the news, and so is one of his faithful followers, Leslie Van Houten. This is the final appeals episode of Leslie Van Houten's case. She is set to be freed very soon. It's looking like it's going to happen, folks. What is your opinion of that? I would like to know. This is probably going to happen, guys. It's 75% sure. She has been in jail for a very long time. And she did help commit at least one murder. So... What are our thoughts on this, guys, today? We're going to draw her and tell you a little bit about her past on this episode of the Freedom to Draw Unsolved Mysteries. Guys, get strapped in. It's happening in a couple of seconds. And guys, today is National Cow Appreciation Day, so we got some instrumental, relaxing music for cows going on in the background as we draw Leslie Van Houten. Now, Leslie Van Houten was originally sentenced to the death penalty because she did lead directly to taking a life in one of those two murderous nights that the Manson family took part in. Now, there's conflicting evidence is that actually she did do any murdering but she did take part in the stabbing after the person was dead I, I'm not sure if the person was still alive when she did take part in the stabbing but she regardless she was directly involved in someone's murder and she that called for the death penalty back then but they abolished the death penalty, so she got a pass. And it was commuted to life in prison. And now, 50-some years later, it's she's going to be up for parole. And Gavin Newsom does not want to fight it. That is where this case stands right as of right now. got some relaxing cow music here guys it's cow appreciation day national cow appreciation day Leslie Van Houten arrives for her parole hearing before members of the board of prison terms at California Institution for Women in Corona California on June 28th 2002 Charles Manson follower Leslie Van Houten one step closer to parole from the life sentence that she was handed out this article is from July 8th 2023 just a couple of days ago Los Angeles California's governor announced Friday that he won't ask the state Supreme Court to block parole for Charles Manson follower Leslie Van Houten, paving the way for her release 
after 53 years in prison for two infamous murders. Uh, she there's conflicting reports if she was actually involved in the first of the two night killing spree but she was definitely involved in the second night and she definitely did stab people a bunch of times I believe it was like 167 times the people in total of the two nights were stabbed to death she she was a direct participant in taking a life so I don't know if she should be released but that's out of my hands it seems like she's gonna be set to be released she should do life for taking a life that's what I think but I do not think she's going to re-offend she's like almost 80 years old In a brief statement, the governor's office said it was unlikely that the state's high court would consider an appeal of a lower court ruling that Van Houten should be released. Governor Gavin Newsom is disappointed, the statement said. More than 50 years after the Manson cult committed these brutal killings, the victims' families still feel the impact, the statement said. Van Houten, now in her 70s, is serving a life sentence for helping Manson and other followers in the 1969 killings of Lino LaBianca, a grocer in L.A., and his wife, Rosemary. Yeah, and that's the one that she took part in. Uh, the Sharon Tate one, she wasn't around for, but uh, the LaBianca one... Van Houten could be freed in about two weeks after the parole board reviews her record and processes paperwork for her release from the California Institution for Women in Corona, her attorney Nancy Tetraalt said. She has been a model prisoner, so she's probably not going to get any backlash on that. The question is, true believers, does she deserve to be set free from her life sentence because she did take direct participation in taking someone's life? Whether or not she initiated the taking of someone's life, that is up to debate. But she definitely took the pleasures of doing it after they were dead by stabbing them more times repeatedly over and over and over. This is something stupid that she did when she was very young. That's very stupid. She was quoted back then on saying that 
Once she had started stabbing them, she kept stabbing them, it became more fun. Now, did this lady serve her time? Did she do her time enough in jail to be released? That is the mystery, that is the question. And why do they think this is acceptable? Another good question. I know she's not going to be a threat to society, but she took a life. The victim does not get their life. Their life is gone because of... Maybe not directly her, but... Because of the actions of her cohorts... This is a tough one to really judge. This is a really tough one to judge. Did she pay her debt to society? She was recommended for parole five times since 2016, but Newsom and former Governor Jerry Brown rejected all those recommendations. However, a state appeals court ruled in May that Van Houten should be released, noting what it called her extraordinary rehabilitative effort, efforts, insight, remorse, realistic parole plans, support from family and friends, and favorable behavior reports while in prison. She's thrilled and she's overwhelmed, Trey Trault said. She's just grateful that people are recognizing that she's not the same person that she was when she committed the murders, she said. After she's released, Van Houten will spend about a year in a halfway house learning basic life skills, such as how to go to the grocery store and get a debit card, Trey Trault. Treya Trault said she has been in prison for 53 years she just needs to learn how to use the ATM machine let alone a cell phone let alone a computer her attorney said we got relaxing cow music going on in the background here because it's Cow Appreciation Day National Cow Appreciation Day Does she deserve to be out of prison? That is the question. My opinion is probably not in favor of her getting out 
it was something that she did when she was young and dumb. Got to think of the victims, though. They don't get their... They don't get their deceased family member back. The person that's dead does not get a second chance. I think she should rot in jail. I mean, uh, if Manson was still alive, I'm sure he would think the same thing. That he passed away. And a good question is, would she get... Would have she gotten this stiff penalty if it wasn't for the high profile-ness of the... Manson family murders. That was a very high profile case. Originally, she was sentenced to death, along with Charles Manson and De uh, was it Deborah Kent, and it was Tex Tex Walters, and the other girl. Her name escapes me right now. There was four of them all together. They were going to be put to death. But then in 72, I think, they abolished the death penalty. And so all of their sentences got commuted to life without parole. As so we listen to this relaxing cow music. Cow Appreciation Day. This is music for cows. Van Houten and other Manson followers killed the LaBiancas in their home in August of 1969, smearing their blood on the walls after Van Houten later described holding Rosemary LaBianca down with a pillowcase over her head as others stabbed her before herself, stabbing the woman more than a dozen times. My family and I are heartbroken because... We're once again reminded of all the years that we have not had with my father and my stepmother with us. Corey LaBianca, Lino LaBianca's daughter, told the Associated Press in a television interview on Friday, My children, my grandchildren, will never get an opportunity to get to know either one of them which has been a huge void for our family, said Corey LaBianca, who is now 75 years old. That's the thing about this. She was directly involved in her loved one's death.
And I think you should do the time if you did the crime. Shouldn't be getting out. Regardless. I think this is political too. It has a lot of political undertones going on. woman that took part in directly gruesomely murdering two people is getting out of jail does not look good on paper folks and will this give hope to the others they're still sitting in prison. Doing their life sentence. The, Le the Le Bianca murders happened the day after Manson's followers killed actress Sharon Tate and four others. Van Houten did not participate in the Tate killings. Ban or Man Manson died in prison in 2017 of natural causes at the age of 83 after nearly half a century behind bars. It's interesting to note what he would have thought of all this if he were still alive. Something tells me he would be very vocal about this. Guys, we're about to wrap this up. This is the case of Leslie Van Houten. And it's National Cow Appreciation Day. She is set to be freed any day now. My question is, what do you guys think of it? This is Leslie Van Houten, guys, true believers. We will see you on the next episode of the Freedom to Draw Unsolved Mysteries. Peace out, true believers.